Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Aladdin on the Sega Mega Drive. And if you've ever played the SNES version, you'll know it's entirely different. Okay, so that basically just tells you what everything is. The genie level bonus, the Abu level bonus, extra health, health meter, throw apples, spend these, restart point, and one up. In Agrabah, a faraway land of wind and sand, a young street rat named Aladdin must steal to survive. Meanwhile, Jafar, the Sultan's advisor, plots to take over the kingdom by stealing a magic lamp from the perilous Cave of Wonders. Our story begins on a dark night. In level 1, the Agrabah Market. Okay, so first off you'll see there are apples to collect. You can swing your sword. You can throw apples at people, which is actually a very effective method of taking them out. Jump on a camel to spit things at people, I guess. If you touch that lamp, it'll destroy all the enemies on the stage. Well, in the view of the stage, anyway. Sometimes it's easier to just throw an apple. Collect gems, because you can uh, spend them at this little market guy that you'll see in a minute. Yeah. Sword fighting is a big part of this game. Like, you can kind of block their sword if you time your sword correctly. But it's not easy. Having a stockpile of apples is a huge thing in this game. And being able to hit them from a distance is like a huge advantage. You got a checkpoint there with the genie. Wow, this basket's annoying. Get more gems. That guy's... I just want to defeat him because he's annoying me. Oh, we can't get through there. That sucks. Pick up some apples. We're already at 63 apples. 99 is the most you can carry. I don't know if you can play both bonus games or if like one overrides the other. But you see here, I don't even know what the 10 is. It, I don't know. But I know that one gives me an extra life, so that's the one that I use. And this is the end of the stage. Level complete. Okay, we play the genie bonus game. So basically, you, however many genie heads you collect, that's how many slot rolls you get. Unless you get a Jafar. If you get a Jafar, it's immediately game over, no matter how many you have. Abu and Agrabah. The bonus level. Watch out, Abu. So we have to avoid these things. And in avoiding these things, occasionally we'll get a gem. And I don't actually know how long the level goes on for. Basically until you get hit. Having escaped from the guards, Aladdin is approached by an ancient beggar. There's a cave, boy. A cave of wonders filled with enough treasure to make all your dreams come true. To find it, you must find the two halves of a magic scarab. The first half is lost in the desert. Aladdin, the desert. Okay, this level's not too bad. The snake's kind of annoying right there. For the most part, the early levels are 
pretty easy. The difficulty ramps up around level 4, I'd say. There are 10 levels total. 9, really, because one of them you don't even have to beat it. It's a magic carpet ride, and it's kind of almost like more like an extra game to rack up points. If you fail three times, it basically just says, uh, well, you failed three times, next level. So I don't even consider that really, like, a level. Okay, this part's confusing, because you have to jump on the trees, and it doesn't look like that's something that you would do. Ninety-three, ninety-four apples. You don't get anything for getting ninety-nine, but it's just cool to have that many apples. In case you need them. Okay, up here there's a lamp, so you just get that lamp. Hopefully you get it before he hits you. I messed up a little bit. Yeah. You're gonna take damage in this game. It's like inevitable. It's not really something that can be avoided. Basically, you just want to minimize it. Okay, that's the first half of the Scarab. Or, well, no, it flies away like three times and you have to find it, but that is the first half of the Scarab. So you can see it down there right now. Some more apples. Three apples to kill a snake. Abu doing some funny stuff right there. Oops. There we go. Level 2 is complete. Play our little bonus game, get some gems. Oops. Get a Jafar. Well done, street rat. The second half of the Scarab is in Agrabah, in possession of, the th of a clever thief. Is that all you're going to tell me? That is all you're going to tell me. The Agrabah Rooftops. <clears throat> There's a way to bounce really high and get that, but I don't understand what it is. I did it once, and I haven't been able to do it since. Oh, sometimes they throw stuff and it's annoying, and sometimes they don't. I mean, certain enemies do and certain enemies don't. And in this level, we're collecting flutes for some reason. And those snake little things won't uh, pop up until you've collected the proper flute. So you can't really advance without grabbing them, so don't worry about missing any. There is one that's missable, but you want to get it. And the reason you want to get it, you'll see at the end of the level. I'm gonna go play the genie minigame real quick, and I want to destroy this guy. Beat him. Beat him. Hang glide. That would hurt with your hand. Oh my god, he just got such bad rope burn that it hurt me. You, I, there you go. Thank you. Okay, so this is the one that you can miss, but you don't want to miss it. You want to jump and grab it. And you'll see why at the end of the level. So stay tuned. Uh, I thought I could get him without getting hit, but I guess I couldn't. Oops. Ugh. So you can get these guys without getting hit, but you have to stand in the right spot. Also, there should be health soon.
right here. Okay. And from there, you want to grab that clothesline. Watch out for this bird. So you can watch out for that bird and still get hit by that bird. Okay, so this is a little boss fight. Oh, and you don't want to let him get behind you like that because it's so much more annoying. Let's see? Whoa, what the heck? Why did I fall down here? That's like totally not what was supposed to just happen. I have to redo this whole portion of the level now? What the heck? That's not supposed to happen. So now I actually don't know if we get the little bonus at the end of the level from dying. So basically, like, if you collect all the flu flutes, it'll take you to, like, get a bunch of health ups before the final boss. But if you miss that one, it won't. So, I don't actually know if we get that now or not, that we lost a life. Because usually I don't lose a life right there. Oops. And then when I do lose a life, I especially don't get sent back to this portion of the level. Because that's just, <clears throat> that's just not even supposed to happen. I, like, fell through a roof. <laughs> we get the health again. And I get to tell you to be careful of that bird again. Okay, now I can tell you watch out for this guy. And that's what you want to do. You want to push him into the corner. Okay. And you walk a little to the left and grab the flute. Yep, okay, so we did get the bonus. Maybe it's just if you grab that one flute, so it'll take you around and you grab all these health ups and apples. And then you go fight the final boss, which is really easy. So you just stand here, jump that barrel and throw an apple. And just get your timing down to where you're hitting him. And he can't do anything to hurt you, as long as you avoid the barrel. Takes quite a few hits to knock him out, though. But you see, we did it. Level complete. <clears throat> ah, man. Always getting that Jafar. With both halves of the Scarab, Aladdin is ambushed unexpectedly by the palace guards. You won't get away this time, thief. It's the Sultan's dungeon for you. Is she gonna say something? Unhand that prisoner by order of the princess. Or is that her speaking? I don't know. I'm confused. Sorry, princess. You'll have to take it up with Jafar. Cast into the Sultan's dungeon, Aladdin can think only of Jasmine, the girl from the marketplace. Would he ever have a chance with a princess? Probably not unless he went on this grand adventure. I hate to say it. Now we're in the Sultan's Dungeon. Oh, I forgot the bats. Oh my god, if you watch the Lion King playthrough, you'll know how much I freaking hate bats. And how I mentioned that this game also has bats, because it's by the same freaking publisher. Whoa. I've actually never been up that way, so I don't know. Didn't know you could just go up that way. Okay, anyway, now that we got that genie head. Oh, we missed. Oh, come on, man. This is like one of the most annoying levels in the whole game, actually. Not difficult, but annoying. I mean, it's difficult too, but it's definitely annoying. Ugh. Oh, that guy. His shtick is that he, uh, he explodes. 
And when he explodes, his bones can cause damage to you by hitting you. Okay. Man, I need a blue heart. We're almost out of health. The health system in this is so weird because it's like that lamp and you see a little bit of smoke uh, disappears from it every time. But that's not necessarily a good health bar because it doesn't really tell you how many hits you can take. All I know is that when you get, um, when there's no smoke left, you have one hit left and you're dead. See? Oh, come on, jump up there. That shouldn't be that big of a problem. Thankfully, we were right here. We could really use some, uh, some extra lives in that slot game. Oh boy, this is tricky. Oh, that wasn't really even for any reason. I think we have to go down, actually. We do. Uh, see, his bones hit us, even though we were super far away. Ugh, that really hit me. This is probably like one of the levels I'm worst at in the game. Oh, I hate those skeleton guys so much. Okay, here you can get health up, so watch out for that. Okay. Now you can feel a little bit better about what's going on here. The good news is if we get to the, uh... The stupid guy who sells lives, we can get, uh, four. This part feels glitchy when you see. I swear we were on top of that. so tough. Oops. This part might take me a minute. It's, it's super glitchy and super tough. Okay, we're almost there, though. Okay, I thought maybe there was a reason that was there. There's not. We avoided it for once. Okay, that's the end of the level, thankfully. Level complete. More gems. More apples. More apples. Ooh, Jafar. Give me the Scarab Street Rat, and I will show you the way to the Cave of Wonders. Cave of Wonders. Okay, so this one has an... Oh my god, more bats. Yeah, this one does have more bats. And an interesting mechanic. You have to destroy those statues to advance. And to destroy that statue that you just saw, the one with all the hands, you have to actually, like, uh, make it throw something and hit it while it's throwing it. Oh my 
goodness, I hate bats so much. Oh, I'm standing on spikes. I'm wondering why I'm just being hurt repeatedly. Okay, so we're gonna lose a life right here. I didn't realize I was just standing on spikes right there. Like, you can touch the spikes, but don't stand on top of them like a fool. <clears throat> Do I need another gem? Why not? That'll give me, uh, six lives if I ever find that merchant again. For that. Okay. Hey, is that health? No, it was something though. I don't know what. Oh my goodness, we keep losing lives on this level. This is kind of annoying. I'm telling you, it's the bats. They're so ridiculous. I hate bats. I hate them so much. Is that? No, that's nothing to grab. I thought that was something to grab. bats here because <clears throat> there's always more bats okay merchant we need this merchant because we had we're at zero lives okay we're back at six lives though so now we're good oh my god bat thank you and now we can get some health actually and now a boss fight You just kind of go back and forth and hit him. And if you do that, there's really nothing you can do. One or two more hits should do it, I think. There we go. You ride the carpet. With Aladdin in his cool guy fist pose. I don't know what that is or who designed it, but it's funny. Okay, that's annoying. This part's actually really tricky. Oh, especially if you do that. Okay, no. You have to, like, be in jump. There you go. I feel like there's something right there that I need to grab. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It was a life. Okay, cool. And you climb to the top. Ooh, a life. Cool. Ooh, which are far, not cool. Infidels. Nothing good ever starts with infidels. I love Abu's face. You have touched the forbidden treasure. Now you will never again see the light of day.
the escape. This level's like the most difficult in the game to me. You kind of just have to stay like momentum forward at all times. Whoa. Yeah, and you need to grab that, which is annoying. So Aladdin through the cave, run, run, run. This part's really tricky. You have to jump. There's another hole coming up. Jump. And then this one you actually have to like hold on to your instincts and run off onto the red part. So if you jump too soon you'll just die. Oh, or if you do that you'll just die. Okay, so let's see if we can do a little better this time. So the goal is to beat this game without a continue. If we do that, I'm happy with the run regardless. It's a pretty frickin' difficult game. These boulders are also in Lion King. And to an extent, they're like slightly different boulders, but they're the same principle. Like how much of a different principle can a boulder be? Okay, that's how we were supposed to make that jump. Okay, this part's tough, too. Okay, you have to wait for that. Jump, wait for that. Oh, my God. Oh, you can see why this level is so... tedious. And having to start over every time. Like, where is my genie lamp? Or my vase thing to save, you know? Oh, we messed up. See, that's what I mean. Like, you have to fight your instincts to not jump there, because you want to jump there so badly, or I do anyway. Okay, I think this might be the run, though, this, this time. Like, this level feels like it's partly luck. Like, there's some things you can control, but there's some things you can't. Like, the hit detection on that last fire, like, we avoided that fire. I don't care what the game says. Okay, run out. Okay, we made it. That's the important thing there. Okay, we got this this time. There we go. Now run. Ha! We made it. Okay. That was a little annoying, but we were able to do it. Level complete. With some gems. Some apples. Ah, we almost, that was our last one anyway. It didn't really matter. Okay, this is like, this is, this is the level that's like a mini game. You don't actually have to win. I'd like to win, because it'll look good, but if we don't, it's no big deal. You get three tries. And you'd think it's easy because it tells you where to go. Not so, Michelangelo. Because it gets pretty fast. Oh, I, f I was forgetting to talk for a second because I was just concentrating so much on this level, my bad guys. Like, I totally forgot I was doing a Let's Play for a minute. That's the first time that's really ever happened. Oh man, we'll see if we can get through this. This is pretty freaking tough. 
Should be a question mark coming up soon. Unless we already patented them. There it is. Oh boy. Oh, see, we didn't make it. And that starts us at the beginning, which isn't really fun. Okay, so let's see. Let's do that one more time. You do lose a life if you lose, which is the crap, crappy part. Oopsie. We're just going to lose on purpose right here to get to the next level. Actually, no, I'm not going to quit like that. Let's uh, see if this last run we can make it. Why not? Just so time consuming, and it took us all the way to the end last time. Oh, come on. This is such like a lengthy level of silliness. Because there's really no point to it. Because, like I said, you win either way. And it's ridiculously hard. I think you win either way, because, like, the one time I died and I won, so... I hope you win either way, or else we could be here for a while. Oh, we're starting to go so fast. Like, there's no way this is safe. Oh, we made it. Cool. Good job, us. Just barely. Play some more Genie game. In the last instant before freedom, the mouth of the Cave of Wonders collapses, trapping Aladdin and Apu inside. When Aladdin inspects his prize, he is suddenly swept into a strange world within the lamp. By the way, this doesn't exactly follow the events of the movie, like... Okay, so this level is called Inside the Lamp, and it is a pain in the butt. I don't even know, this might be the stumbling block of the whole freaking Let's Play. Okay, so you come here, and you want to just bounce, 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 and there's a reason for this. Because eventually you get on the hands. Okay, then you wait here. Climb the balloons, which is annoying and tricky and difficult. But you're rewarded with a uh, checkpoint. Another checkpoint. Oh man, we're getting to the tough part almost. This is the tough part, yes. Well, I mean, not this, just not just this one part, but it's one of the tough parts. Okay, these are not popping up in the right order. I don't know if I can fix that by going to the left. But if they don't come up in the right order, there's really nothing I can do. Like, they're, they weren't spawning in the right order. There's nothing I can do about that. There are some glitches in this game. It makes a hard part even more difficult when it, uh... 
when the pieces aren't spawning correctly. See, this is how it's supposed to spawn. And you climb it, but if you can't climb it, then like, what the heck was I supposed to do there? Okay, we're getting past the more difficult sections, which is good. Oh, we made it. Thank goodness. Okay, an extra life. We actually really needed that. Free from the magic lamp, the genie and helps Aladdin escape the Cave of Wonders. Sultan's Palace. Whoa, I almost walked into the water to start the level. That would have been pretty embarrassing. And there are fish in this level that are super annoying. See? There's a fish. And he was super annoying. Hey, we're almost out of apples. That's not good. Because when you die, you lose your apple supply. This is... Okay. You made it. I'm just gonna sh shish kebab some birds. Okay, that guy wants some. He wants these hands. You don't want these swords. You don't want these apples. <laughs> So we just kind of like poke our way through there. Then we fight this guy, but it's not really working, so we'll just throw some apples at him. take me out. Oops. I messed up big time right there, actually. We're probably gonna lose a life now. Yep. That's fine. Which way am I going? This way. No, the other way. Doo -doo. I don't think there's any more merchant for the rest of the game, unfortunately. Because if there was... We could most certainly uh, get some more lives and make this a cakewalk, but I don't think we can. Do, 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 do. Swing your sword all around, Aladdin. Dance with that thing, man. I think this way is just health, maybe? Or no, just some apples? Oh, and you can grab this. And just climb over everybody. And then you gotta jump under Abu, hit him in the head. Oh, here's the merchant man. Perfect. Okay, now there's no chance we can lose this game. Whoops. Oh man, that's not good. Okay, jump. That's a weird way to end a level. Oh yeah, because you have to come here and fight uh, Yago. 
Okay, so basically you just throw apples at him like everything else in the game and hit these things when they pop up. Oh, how many hits do you take, Yago? There we go. Okay, cool. Apples are good. We need them for the final boss. Because, yes, you defeat Jafar with apples. Because that makes sense. Distracted by Yago, Aladdin recovers to find the lamp is missing. Jafar's palace. Oh, shit. Forgot about the fire on the ground. And it's like, you want to save your apples because of the final fight with Jafar. But you also don't want to take a bunch of damage in here. Ah. To the right. Oh, a health. Cool. Whoa, hey. Okay. There's actually a bunch of. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize that that was like. I've never fallen down there. I did not realize that that was like a. Uh... Yeah, I didn't realize that that was like a fall through the floor type section. I thought it was a spikes type section. makes a lot more sense now. Oh, we're out of freaking apples. There we go. Gotta make sure we have the right distance from these guys now. There's a save lamp somewhere up here. Oh, come on. There we go. Needed that health. Why not? We'll max out our life again. Okay. This part's super tricky. Goodness. Uh, really? Really? Oh, come on, man. Get these statues out of the way. Oh, I forgot about you, Yago guy. Yago, that's not Yago. 
Ugh, freaking hate you. Oh, that's cool though. At least it like it knows that you're gonna take damage through there and it's like, hey, let me help you with that. Okay, there's the final checkpoint. Now we just kind of fly through here and again skewer everybody. Okay, and now Jafar is going to want a piece of us. Oh, this is why it's good to have a bunch of uh, apples going into this fight. Because if not, then you have to collect them as you go. So this fight might take us a couple of tries. Especially since we have like one health left right now. And a lot of apples left to throw. See? That was pretty tough. You. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this part. Okay, there we go. Getting a little better at this. We got this. So I barely prep practice this game. Usually I practice for like a week or more. But for this, I just played it for like a day. So that's why it's maybe not as good as some of my other runs. Oh shoot. Oh my goodness, I thought we had it that time. I don't even care. Yeah, 
Okay. Oh, come on, dude, really? Oh, come on. Why does that hit me? Like, I don't understand. Sometimes it pulls me in and sometimes it doesn't. Oh my goodness, come on, man. Alright, now we just have to time this jumping right. Like, come on, man. Like, it's super hard to time the apple jump right. Oh my goodness, and sometimes you don't jump on top of the platform when you mean to, and sometimes you hit Jafar's head like a fool. That platform is so buggy, I don't even know what to do. This is like the definition of a long play. I might just skip forward to this part. Okay, we're doing a little bit better this time. We're almost there, he shouldn't have that many. He shouldn't have that much health left. There we go. We beat the game. It only took forever in a day. Terrible run, but hey, we did it. Some people never beat this game in their life. So you know what? I'm not mad. Get Aladdin and Jasmine kissing and you get the virgin games credits so guys if you enjoyed like subscribe sorry that final boss took so many fights there were a couple levels in there that took us a while but we beat the game what are your experiences with this game if you have any let me know in the comments and i will see you guys next time